Hi everybody. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> if you're returning here, hello. I hope everybody's doing well. If you're new here, hi. My name is Stacy. It's nice to meet you. Um, so we're returning to the Berlin today. And I um, did, so the last time that we worked on this, I had a little bit of the buildings done. Um, since then, I was able to, here and there, not much, because I didn't record last week, but not much um, time. It was like a half hour here, a half hour there, um, where I was able to almost complete these buildings. I still have like a couple of, of things over here, um, a couple of couple of things over here and here so the buildings are almost done so we're just going to continue that um, I'll probably start in here because that's the biggest section um, or maybe I'll finish out these windows that's like one color almost in there we'll see but I'll probably grab here first so we're gonna work on that I think it's looking good so far um, I really like the art style on this. Um, I think the buildings look really nice. The down um, part here where you've got the pedestrians in the car, I think that looks really cool. And um, I'm really, you know, excited about this one. Um, like I said, I, I, I think it's turning out pretty well. So I'll zoom in just a little bit to there and We'll probably work a little bit here. Maybe I'll do these first because there's not much. Um, <clears throat> so let me grab the color first. Yeah, I'm going to do that real quick because there's not much in there. And um, we'll work on that right now. So how's everybody doing? I hope that everybody's doing well. Um, I know... Like I said, I didn't record yes, uh, <clears throat> yesterday, last week, um, because my work schedule was just, it was just too much, and I didn't have a lot of time to record. I didn't have a lot of time for anything, really. Um, the way they've got my schedules working, um, uh, when I get a day off, um, I'm spending it more with my husband, and um, so... I'm not, unfortunately, not crafting as much as I would like. Um, I don't, you know, they're changing my schedule again. So, like, so my boss was on vacation. So I was doing a lot of her job, um, which took up a lot of time because, you know, it wasn't something that I had done before. So took more time than it probably should have and you know you know how that goes when you're doing something new um, you're not really efficient at it yet you know so yeah I took a lot of time doing that and then one of the other girls that worked there um, this week was her last week so she decided to um, move on to other things so now my schedule is going to change again, where I'm not I'm not necessarily happy about it. I'll deal with it, obviously, but um, now I have to figure out how I'm going to make all this work <clears throat> because they've got me working like midday. So like so the bakery hours are. Um, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. even though the store is open I mean yeah even though the store is open later um, they uh, <clears throat> they close like certain departments close a little bit earlier than the the store at least for full you know work so with this girl leaving now I'm gonna have to um, close, which means that I'm going to be working that afternoon, evening um, portion, which I'm not particularly happy about because 
when on the days that my husband's off, you know, because of his sleep schedule and then my work schedule now is it's just going to leave less time for us. And so that bums me out because, you know, I just, I just want to spend time with my husband, you know, and so I'm going to have to figure out how to make it work and then fitting in the crafting because I, I like doing this obviously, but I also like other crafts too and I want to make time for all of them. And so it's, it's going to be a little bit hard. I'm going to have to figure it out. Um, but in any event, that's part of the reason why I didn't um, record a video last week. I just I just did not have the time to do it. And <clears throat> honestly, I didn't want to do it where I wasn't focused on it. I didn't want to like just do a video just to get it done. Um, I wanted to make sure that <clears throat> I had the time and I wasn't feeling like I was half-assing it. So... Um, that's why, you know, I didn't record, but, you know, you guys, you guys, unfortunately, are probably used to me not recording all the time now, and I wish it was different, but it's not, and <laughs> we're just gonna have to make it work, right? Just gonna have to make it work. Um, let me grab another color here. This one. Um, so, I have been looking around for, like, some new diamond paintings, I, you know, some budget-friendly ones, um, and my go-to place is Amazon, of course, and, but I don't know, I don't know why the selection is so kind of, like, not there now. Um, it seems like the diamond paintings that are being produced now just don't have the wow factor um, that they used to. Like, there's nothing that I'm seeing that I'm really like, oh yeah, I gotta have that. And honestly, I have a lot of, um, you know, bigger brand name uh, diamond paintings, so I don't necessarily want to spend another, you know, 50, 60 bucks on a big one when I've got so many that I still need to do. So that's kind of why I was looking for um, budget friendly ones and smaller ones that I could like pop out. Um, I'm going to keep looking. I don't know if I want to go back to like AliExpress or something. I do not shop on Timu. I most likely will not shop on Timu. So, um, AliExpress is pretty much the only other one outside of Amazon that I buy from, um, as far as, like, super budget. But I'm going to look at, um, a couple other places that I was, that I purchased from before, seeing if I can't find any, like, discounted stuff or something, and we'll, we'll see, but I just... I'm not happy with the selection that's out there nowadays. Maybe I'll go back to to Michael's and get some more of the make market ones because they're fun and you know their stuff isn't bad so maybe I'll do that. <clears throat> um, the good thing is that there's like a Michael's pretty much right next to where I work so to pop in there um, you know like after work isn't isn't a big deal so maybe I'll do that and because I really did like doing that that flower one that I did um, that's like the peel and stick one um, I really did like doing that I haven't stuck that on anything yet it's just kind of sitting there um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but it was fun to do so maybe I'll pick up <clears throat> more of those um, that might be fun. Maybe I'll do that. My eyes are like super blurry today. I'm sitting here and it's like 
So the way that I have the lighting when I record, or well, you know what, I use it all the time, so I shouldn't just say it's for recording, but um, it, the way it shines on the diamonds, um, it messes with my, my vision. So like, it, it makes my eyes all blurry. So I'm like looking at this and I'm like constantly blinking, trying to regain my focus. I wear glasses and um, I wear trifocals, so sometimes I have to like move my head in weird ways, weird <laughs> ways, so to speak. Um, to, you know, because where I sit, like I might be using the wrong magnification, um, wrong part of my glasses, so sometimes I have to like move my head. I, I wind up hurting my neck sometimes because like the way we have our TVs in our in our living room Since me and my husband both game we have m My TV on the wall on the bottom and his on the top and um, When we watch TV on his TV, it's like too high for me um, so most of the time I I'll take off my glasses when I'm watching TV with him, unless it's something that I have to like really, really focus on. Um, and then I will, if I have my glasses on, like I have to look up really far and um, to use the correct magnification on my glasses. So it, it winds up hurting my neck sometimes. And uh, I just, you know, it's, it's so weird. <laughs> your your body grows older and things don't work as well anymore and then all of a sudden you're hurting yourself more because you have to compensate for something else and it's just like oh it's a never-ending battle which I'm sure all of you are aware of it is it's a never-ending battle and um, so it just yeah I struggle <laughs> I struggle um, let's go with, let's fill in this, this little one here. I have a couple of drills that don't want to sit properly. Um, I think they might be concave a little bit. Usually if that happens, I'll go back through, um, if they, if they're popping completely off, I'll go back through and I'll pull them up and exchange them for another one. Um, but I just haven't done that yet, so... Maybe I'll do that later. Um, I usually do it, honestly, when I finish the whole um, canvas. And then, like, I, I roll, you know, I use a roller on it and push everything down. And then I wait, like, a day or so. And then I see which ones are popping up. And I'll pull those off and exchange them for another one so that it sits better. But I also know that, you know, sometimes the drills aren't the same sizes. So you get like one or two that are like a, a little bit bigger and they don't sit right. So no matter what you do, they're gonna pop up. And I don't really seal um, my diamond paintings. Um, Every once in a while, I will, um, depending on what what I'm doing with them. But typically, I don't seal them. See, this one is just popping up. So I am going to pull this one off. Is it concave? No, it's not. I think it might be because the ones that are next to it are kind of bigger. adjust it a little bit there we go. this whole row is kind of weird because they're all there's like a few of them that are popping up on this row yeah I might have to go through this whole row here but yeah so um I don't really seal the diamond paintings that often 
Um, and I haven't really had any trouble with any of them falling off. Some of, I will admit, some of the ones from AliExpress after a while, um, like you didn't have enough stick or whatever, some of them you will lose, or I have lost some, some drills. <clears throat> but, you know, for the most part, I don't need to seal any. Like I've got some, some of the good ones, the more expensive ones that really, you know, you don't have to worry about at all with whether or not you're going to lose drills, which is really nice because, um, you know, it makes it so that if you don't want to seal <clears throat> your diamond paintings, you don't have to. I Especially because I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that with Diamond Art Club, um, with their uh, policy of um, lifetime, what is it, lifetime um, guarantee or something like that, but I think that if you... <clears throat> seal it um then you um avoid that lifetime guarantee so um you know be aware of that if you buy a diamond painting um and you seal it and then something you know something happens to it and you lose a whole bunch of diamonds and stuff i think that um I don't think Diamond Art Club will honor that agreement after it's sealed. I could be wrong. Like I said, correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think... Oh, that is not where I want that to go. I don't think... Yeah, that is where I want it to go. Right? Jeez, Stacy. I lost... I, I hate that you start putting drills down and you're like oh it's this this and this and then all of a sudden you're like wait a minute did I put that in the right spot and you saw the last time I did this I had to pull up a whole bunch of them because I or was it this one or the other one I mean, it might have been the other canvas um, I had to pull up a whole section because I had totally just not paid attention <laughs> and put all the drills in the wrong spot missed one of that one and I always like to try and go back especially if I see it because sometimes when you get through the whole canvas and you miss just one um, it's hard just it's hard to catch I do know that if you hold it up or take a backlight and you know put a backlight on it you can find out where you missed any of them but I'm rambling a lot aren't I <laughs> I think I do that a lot when I when I'm um, recording I just ramble because I, I, I don't really know what to talk about just kind of want to diamond paint with you guys and it's hard sometimes when you're essentially talking to yourself you know um, it's hard to keep your thoughts straight. I ramble a lot. And I don't do that in real life. In, in real life, not that this is not real life, but in person, I should say. I really don't talk that much at all. Um, so, to... That's one of the reasons why I kind of like doing these videos because it forces me to learn how to communicate better, I guess. So I am learning, um, but in person, I really don't talk that much at all. Um, I'm a pretty quiet person. I'm not going to say that I don't voice my opinion when I need to, but I definitely don't... Um, talk to a lot of people or anything like that which reminds me I got a text Will I think he um, I think he went on tour in Europe this month and I gotta text him and make sure he's okay just because you know he's my friend and I need to I haven't talked to him in a while so since I got this new job I actually haven't talked to him because we used to talk 
a specific time pretty much every week, but now I'm not awake at that time. So I have to, we have to figure out another time that we can talk. And it's been, it's been a while. So I need, I need to text him. Again, random thoughts. Um, <laughs> but you're here. So you're hearing my random thoughts now. Um, let's see. Oh, my husband and I watched this movie um, last night. Oh, it's so cheesy. But if you like cheesy movies, you might be interested to watch it. Um, <clears throat> I think it was from... 2015 maybe and I think the name of the movie was called uh, he won't die or something like that or he didn't die I think is what it's called and um, it stars Henry Rollins in it and it was an interesting interesting movie because they don't really reveal um, who his character is until later in the movie. So, like, <clears throat> you're speculating through pretty much the first half of the movie. Like, what is he? Is he a vampire? Is he a demon? Is he um, a fallen angel? Is he... What is he, right? Because when you see the title, there is a cross in the title so you're like okay well there's got to be some sort of religious aspect to this movie you know so you're you're sitting there and you're watching it and you're like okay is he what is he because he's not he's definitely got an evil side or we'll say a I don't want to say evil I want to say more of a disturbed side we'll say and um, so you're wondering through the whole movie, you know, who is this, who is this character? You know, what is, what's the background of this character? And they don't, like I said, they don't reveal who the character is um, until later on in the movie. So the whole time we're watching it, I'm like thinking to myself, you know, is he is he a demon? Is he a vampire? Is he a werewolf? Is he this? Is he that? And so as cheesy as it was, um, it was really interesting to watch. Um, now Henry Rollins, if you guys don't know who he is, um, he became famous from the band Black Flag. He was the lead singer of the band Black Flag, which was, um, what was it, kind of big in the 80s, I think it was. And um, he was like a punk, punk rock band. And um, Henry Rollins has since gone on to do like spoken word tours. He doesn't call himself a, a stand-up comedian so he just calls it spoken word it's just stories that he tells pretty much and he you know he has written books and um done quite a few um he's had parts in quite a few movies um and he he's super intelligent i think he's got a show like on the History Channel or something like that like, like he's pretty well-rounded pretty well-rounded individual when it comes to the entertainment factor and um, but you know he he's not the greatest actor in the world however um, I think he I think for as cheesy as this movie was, I think he played the role well. And um, so if you like cheesy movies, I, th I think that, you know, it's something that you guys <clears throat> should check out. Um, because it, it was, you know, kind of just interesting, like, 
halfway through it, you're thinking to yourself, well, who is this guy? And you're also thinking to yourself, do I really want to watch the rest of it? But it pulls you in kind of because you, you want to know what's going on even though it is kind of cheesy. It's not too graphic. There is, you know, some blood and, uh, uh, you know, some uh, horror aspect, we'll say, to it. But it's not too bad. It's not like, you know, some of the crazy movies that are out there. They're so outlandish. Um, <clears throat> but it, it's just kind of... It's just kind of interesting and like I said the name of the movie I believe is he won't die or he didn't die I think is what it's called he didn't die where's my phone let me see if I can pull it up I can show it to you because <clears throat> it was like I said it was interesting he never died is that what it's called? Yeah, He Never Died is what it's called. And it's on Netflix. Let's see. Here is... Let's look at the images. So they've got two images for it, if you can see that. Um, he Never Died. So that's Henry Rollins there. Um, and you see him with angel wings there. Which I think um, kind of gives it away a little bit more. Um, there's a couple different co covers. Um, this one's a cool cover here. Um, I like that one. Um, that one's a cool cover there. And uh, when was it? It was, yeah, 2015. So, you know, if you're interested... <clears throat> I would definitely say, you know, it's it's worth watching um, just because, you know, it was kind of it was kind of cheesy, but it kept you wondering for the first, you know, part of the movie. And then you're pretty much invested. So you watch the end of it. If you're interested, um, I like to watch cheesy movies like that um you, you do actually find some real gems when you just pick random movies like that um based on either an actor or a person that you know um is in the movie um so i really i really enjoy just flipping through and trying out new movies like i said you do find some gems I, I would do that um, when I was a kid in the 80s um, because in the 80s they were producing so many generic type movies that were, you know, based around pretty much that scene, like, you know, people trying to copy the, um, what was it, John Hughes, is that what his name was, who did all the, all the, um, you know, like, um, 16 Candles and, you know, uh, St. Elmo's Fire. I don't know if he did St. Elmo's Fire, but he did 16 Candles and Breakfast Club and stuff like that. And I think a lot of, he had so much success, I think a lot of um, other directors and um, companies try to mimic that format. So I used to sit there and just watch generic movies a lot when I was a kid so but you do you you do you find some real gems that way so if you're interested go watch it I thought it was good enough to finish so <laughs> nah, I think that makes a difference if you could sit through the whole thing that makes a difference um, there was a there was an old uh, Keanu Reeves movie I watched when I was obviously younger um when he when he did bill and ted's um, excellent adventure i found that he did a movie before that i don't remember i think it was called the river the river red or something like that 
And he was so young, so young. I think it was the first movie that he did. He was so young. And um, that was about um, some teenagers who, I don't know if they found a body or if they, one of them got murdered or what, but it was, you know, that type of movie. It was kind of like a murder mystery drama kind of thing. And, you know, he was just like a teenager. I don't even think he was like a main character. I think he was like a co-star in it, but yeah. I encourage you all to just go and find some random movies <clears throat> to watch because it is it is fun you do like I said you do find some gems and uh, you know it's always a good thing when you can find something where after you watch it you're like that you know what that wasn't that bad <laughs> there's another movie I saw that's um, I didn't see the movie that I saw the trailer for that's coming out, I think this month. Um, that looks interesting. I have no idea what the name of it is, but their, their, um, their tagline or, you know, their description of it is like, um, good fellas on motorcycles. And so it's like a motorcycle gang or something like that. And I'm like, that looks really interesting. Like, I told my husband, I said, we, I don't want to go see that. So maybe we'll go to the theater here and um, see that. I don't know what the name of it is. I just saw the, the trailer for it yesterday. So um, I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know if and when I go see it, um, what I thought of it. Um, but yeah, like, you know, if you guys have any recommend of cheesy movies that are actually worth it um, let me know down below because I like watching cheesy movies and I think it'd be interesting to find some new movies to watch new old movies we'll say <laughs> to watch alright guys I think we're at 30 minutes yeah we're a little over 30 minutes I did a little bit of that so that's good. We're getting into that background there. The um, the shadow. What do we call that? The the horizon line, right? The back line of the city. So we're getting into that. Um, hopefully, next time you see me um, and we we take a look at this, we will have I'll have the buildings actually done. Hopefully we'll be a little bit further up so that we can, um, you know, get close to wrapping this up and move on to another one. I really like doing these with you and finish, finishing these up with you. I hope you guys are, are you know, continuing your projects when you're um, spending time with me and um, trying to plan it out in a sense to finish it up in a timely manner nothing worse in my opinion nothing worse than having a whole bunch of stuff sitting there going I need to do that one day let's work on them let's get them done that way we can you know cycle through some new ones right <laughs> all right guys I think this looks good I'm glad that you joined me today and um, hopefully I'll see you next week and have a great weekend Okay? Thanks. Bye.